the word crypto itself is coming from another word called cryptography. It has everything to do with trying to encrypt information and uh, using the concept of um, what is technically called private and public keys. Essentially, um, if I if I am giving you the name Desmond in crypto in in, in the language of crypto, um, Desmond would come jumbled up. Uh, maybe it will be represented by numbers or images, and I would give you a clue what the image or the numbers means, and then you would be able to unscramble them to tell you that the actual message in there is Desmond. So that whole concept of um, um, scrambling and unscrambling is what is called cryptography. Now, cryptocurrency is built out of these ability to do the encryption, which I've explained earlier. So essentially, we are leveraging on the encryption platform to be able to create um, uh, these, uh, uh, you know, electronic representation of money, um, uh, and the platform that is used mostly by many is what we call the blockchain. Now, the idea of doing this on the blockchain because cryptocurrency is just a byproduct or it's just a product running on a blockchain. The blockchain is what you would call an open public ledger, essentially just like an accounting book, um, except everybody sees what goes in and what comes out. And it's electronic and we can all access it. So if you put all that together, you are actually dealing with an electronic or virtual currency which is running on uh, an encrypted platform and is giving open access to everybody. So you know where the money is coming from and you know where the money is going to. You see all the transactions that are running um, on a blockchain and, and things like that. So uh, we've come to a point where these sort of currencies are now being used in trading um, in certain markets. I mean, the world over, it's not everybody that has accepted cryptocurrency. So um, it will be difficult for you to say that cryptocurrency is a legal tender as the case may be. You should find yourself in a jurisdiction where cryptocurrency has been accepted as a legal tender to call it a legal tender. But as it stands now, it is something that is real. Um, I personally trade in cryptocurrency, so um, yeah, it, it's something that is real, it's something that people engage with. And yeah, there are also the dangers of using it if you are not well informed, you know, as to the potential of this.